Why ask me come your house suddenly? Eat la. Eat the bowl? No, I just bought the bowl today. Then eat what? Laksa, bro. Laksa? Yes. You sure I don't bluff me? Huh? I won't bluff of you. Course? Of course. Fish cake? Definitely. Tao pao? Yes. Prawns? Of course. Only the best. Really? Huh? Yeah, big I'm one. I'm eat now. Okay, let's go. Let's go. A bit more pinkish. Yeah, a little bit more pinkish. We have the basic rempa spices to make the base flavor for the laksa. Okay. And then we have the toppings here. Toppings. The toppings. Wow, and the prawn quite big. Huh? Yeah, the prawn is big. I told you we only I only give you the best. Okay. So let me introduce you to some of the ingredients that we will be using uh, for the laksa. Okay. We have dry shrimp. Dry shrimp. Coriander powder. Coriander powder. Can you guess what is this? Macadamia. Wrong lah. It looks like macadamia nut. Right? It looks like hazelnut to me. Okay. But it's not. Then? This is called candle nut, ladies and gentlemen. Right? We have shallots. We have turmeric. This is called galangal. Galangal. Oh, this is turmeric. This is turmeric. This is galangal. This is galangal. Okay. Okay? Is there an English name for galangal? Yes. Galangal is also known as blue ginger. Blue ginger. Okay, blue ginger. Alright, alright. Okay, this is lemongrass. Obviously, okay. I think I'm not blind. I can tell that this is always in my tom yum. <sighs> Very important ingredient we have opium. here. Oh no, blachan. Opium. Just joking. <laughs> oh, blachan, bro. Opium. No man. Uh, okay. Blachan. blachan. Give me a sniff. Hmm. Right, a bit down with the flu, uh, so can't really smell. <laughs> but never mind. Let's hope that the laksa will clear your nose. Sure. Okay, we have chili and we have dry chili. Okay. These two need more. Why, why must they have two chili? Eh? Difference in texture, difference in flavor. Dehydrated chili tend to have a stronger aroma when cooked. Okay? See, see. Fresh chili tend to be more acidic. Okay. Okay, tend to be more acidic. Okay. And how can we do laksa without laksa leaf? Okay, this is laksa leaf. We will have to chop this later on. Okay. Your favorite fish cake? Fish cake. Prawn? Prawn. Your hum. Cocker. Okay? I not hum. Your cocker. Okay, but yeah, thank you. Okay. Cockles. Egg. Egg. We have a thicker version of rice vermicelli here. Okay, this one Hokkien we call chao bee hoon. Okay, chao bee hoon. Okay. We have bean sprouts, our bean sprouts, and we have... Coconut milk. Yes, coconut milk. Okay, well done. Okay, so without further ado, we've done the introduction of the ingredients. We're going to go into the cooking. Cook here. Uh. We're going to be cooking here. Going to bring everything in. Uh. Right here. Oh, you damn not you see I'm sweating already. Uh. So hot, no. Okay, guys. Okay, we have blended all our ingredients already. Okay, I've pre-prepared everything. Okay, so I can begin my cooking. Okay, but before I begin my cooking, let me talk a little bit about my rempa. Okay, unlike most uh, modern recipes where they actually ask you to blend all the ingredients into a paste, I personally prefer to blend my ingredients separately. For example. Okay, this yellow paste you can see over here. Okay, this is a mixture of my lemongrass, my blue ginger, as well as my turmeric. Okay, I blend it together okay, to form a rempa okay, separately. Okay, the reason why I blend my ingredients separately okay, is because of the different cooking times uh, that the ingredients require. For example, okay, if you notice lemongrass, 
blue ginger and turmeric are all uh, very fibrous. They're very tough, meaning that they need longer cooking time. Okay, compared to my shallots. Okay, compared to my chili. Okay, I have blended the dry chili and fresh chili together. Okay, to form uh, as well as the blachana. Okay, to form a, a basic paste. Okay, however, if you want it to be a little bit more spicy, what we can do okay, is to add in chili padi into the mixture. Okay. The shallots are blended together with the candle nut. Okay, so it looks a little bit like vanilla ice cream, melted vanilla ice cream actually. Okay, some of you may find this disgusting. Okay, but the candle nut actually helps give it a very, very nice body. Okay, it makes the whole paste come together. Okay, it gives it a very, very nice creamy texture. Okay, even the dry shrimp, okay, I have blended. However, this is dry blended. This is blended by itself with nothing added to it. There's no oil, there's no water. Okay, so I'm going to start cooking right now. I'm going to start the pot with a little bit of oil. Okay, just a little bit of oil. Okay, at a low heat. Okay, I don't want the rempa to burn. I want it to become aromatic. Okay, before I add in the next ingredient. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of oil. Okay, just a little bit to start the, the pot. Okay, get the, get the cooking rolling. Okay, that's it. Just a little bit will do. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I'm using an uh, infrared. Okay, I'm using an infrared cooker. Okay, to, to uh, cook my rempa instead of the regular stove. If you're using a stove, it's fine. Okay, all you need is heat when it comes to cooking. Okay, it's not that difficult at all. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're waiting for the pot to just heat up a little bit. Okay, before we start adding in the ingredients separately. Okay, keep in mind, I'm not going to add in all the rempa spices together to cook. Okay, I'm going to add in my ginger spice first. Okay, just to let it caramelize a little bit until it's a little bit fragrant before I add the next ingredient. That way, all the ingredients will cook very consistently, giving you a very, very nice flavor later on. Okay, one way to know if your pot is hot enough okay, is to listen to the sound when you add in the ingredient. You want a light sizzle, not too fast, not too much bubbles. Hear that sound? That's a perfect sound. Okay, that's a nice sound. Okay, the important thing to note is to stir it consistently so that it doesn't stick. Okay, you want the flavors to come together very nicely. You do not want the ingredients to brown too much. Uh, if you start off the pot and you brown your ginger spices, what's going to happen is going to add a very bitter after flavor later on. At any point of time, all you need is control. Okay, control the temperature at a rate that you are comfortable. Okay, so that you do not cook, overcook the ingredients. Okay, do not overcook the ingredients. Hear that sound? That's a nice sound. That's a beautiful sound. That's the sound that I always look for, okay, whenever I'm cooking, okay? Okay, what you want is for the blue ginger's flavor to really come through, okay? Give it a very, very nice stir, okay? Very, very nice aroma. Control the temperature so that you don't cook it too much. Actually, depending on how much you're cooking, the time can vary, okay? The time can vary. Cooking using timing is never accurate. I always believe that the ingredients will tell you when they're ready. One way to know is to look at it, smell it, listen to it. How do you listen? You listen to the sound of the bubbles, the crackling, the consistency. Bro, feeling hungry or not? Yeah. I hear shooting until I'm sweating like a pig, bro. <laughs> okay, the pot is ready for the next cycle. Okay, I am going to add in the chili paste. Okay, this requires a longer cooking time compared to shallots. Okay, shallots. Uh, mainly only contain moisture, okay, so it's actually quite easy to cook, okay, once the temperature is high enough. So the chili is going to go in now, okay, the chili is going to go in now. The, the blachan is inside as well, okay, it's all blended together into a very nice, fine paste. Okay, at this point of time, if you're using fresh chili, Okay, if you're using fresh chili, 
you will smell that the chili paste is a little bit sourish. Okay, what you want to do is to cook under that sour flavor is gone. Okay, that way you have all the flavor in the gravy itself. Okay, it's not so much of the temperature, it is more of the change of the structure of the ingredient during the cooking process that will determine the outcome, the final outcome. Okay, what we are doing now is a laksa paste. This is extremely important, okay, to start off the pot, okay, to start off the soup, the gravy later on, okay, for the laksa. Yeah, okay, one more lah, bro. Wow, oh, today's one really got kick. Today's one really got kick. Okay, I'm gonna add in the shallots now. Okay, I'm gonna add in the shallots now. This is the final ingredient for my rumpa today. Okay, the, shand the shallots are blended together with the kernel nut. This is what's gonna hold the paste together later on. Okay, giving it a very nice creamy texture. And we are ready. Okay, we are ready for the dry shrimp. I'm going to add in the dry shrimp. The whole laksa paste is going to dry out very, very quickly. Then I'm going to add in the coriander powder. As you can see, it's drying out now. It's really coming together. It's lumping together already. Okay, we want to stir this consistently until we get a very, very nice paste. This is what's going to give it its final flavor. Bro, can you smell the prawns? Okay, once the dry shrimp is added, this is what's going to happen. Okay, it's going to come together. It's going to become very, very thick. Okay. What we're doing now is we're just frying until the flavor comes together. I'm going to add in my coriander powder now. Okay, this doesn't require a very long cooking time. If you forget to add it in, you can add it in just before you end the stock. It's fine as well. Not to worry. Okay, just a touch. Ta-da! Oh, you come from where? Magic. What's it? Got thing to eat, huh? he full of magic. Okay, with that, my laksa paste is ready. I'm going to add in the stock right now. I'm going to bring it to a boil. Then I'm going to add in the coconut milk and then we are done. Okay, the water is boiling. We have pre-blanched all our ingredients. I have blanched the prawns. I've shelled them. We have uh, prepared the cockles. With the cockle liquid, the eggs have been boiled, the fish cakes have been sliced. Now all we need to do, the next step, okay, is to cook the bihun with the bean sprouts. How come every time you pop up from... I know, I know, Magic, bro. ma! We need to boil first. I lazy to edit, so I come out with the table. Easier, bro. Cook faster. Okay, la, wait. La. So bro, are you ready? Of course, I'm very hungry. Yeah. Well, you said 10 minutes. What 10 minutes? You took 3 hours. This whole shoot took 3 hours. Oh, wow, where got so long? Where got so long? Well, time flies when you're enjoying yourself. Hey, let's eat, let's eat. What about tea? Hey, sorry. Not French. Uh, <laughs> chia. Chia, chia, chia. Okay. Sabli. Sabli, oh.